What's going on guys? My name is Marcel Flores. Welcome to my YouTube channel One Dapper Street and welcome to today's video. It's a much anticipated video from you guys and that's the H&M haul and it's our biggest one yet. I've got 25 pieces, two of them on me and 23 more on the rack that I'm gonna walk you through today. As you guys may know, I am an H&M ambassador, but today's video is not sponsored. I did not receive any of these items for free. I just wanna hook you up with what I think are the best pieces at H&M right now. Let's not waste any time and jump right in with this first piece, a camel overcoat. H&M is bringing this back every fall, rightfully so. It's a classic and they do it really well. For what it is, it's a really affordable price point. It's a top-notch camel overcoat, really nice fit, a great color, and an easy way to get your fall even leading into winter wardrobe started. If you're looking for a bit more of a casual alternative to that camel top coat, how about this overcoat right here? It's got a nice light brown color, which is something you don't see a lot, so the color alone makes it a little bit more of a standout, but you'll see that the collar is already flipped up. That's how it came straight out of the box, so it's meant to be flipped up. It's meant to be worn a little bit more casually, so this could be probably an alternative to the other, or an addition if you want one that's a little bit more dressed up and another one that's a bit more dressed down. Similar to the top coat, the trench coat is something H&M does well season over season, and this time I was early enough to get my size, a size medium, in the navy colorway. I remember last season I wanted to get this so bad, but it was already sold out, so hop on shopping that right now. All the links are down below. Make sure you get your color because this thing is amazing. There's two companies that I tend to go for for trench coats, that's H&M and Uniqlo, and honestly, I feel like this year I'm leaning a little bit more to H&M because the fabric's a little bit more soft, it's not as sturdy, and the fit is just a little bit more refined. So this, I think, is a great pickup for the fall season. Now next up, we've got three leather jackets. I'm not suggesting you buy all of them, but I wanted to point out a few of the differences so you know what you're shopping for when you're in store. Number one is this biker jacket with a shearling collar in black. It's part of the Men With collaboration. If you guys follow them on Instagram, it's Men With Street Style, Men With Class, that whole series of accounts. They did a capsule with them, and this leather jacket is from there. Clearly, with the shielding collar, it's a little bit more winter-oriented, which is a great way to wear a biker jacket throughout the winter. And otherwise, it's amazingly designed. It's a nice quality and a great fit. I think this is definitely a pickup if you're trying to go for something that, like I said, you can wear throughout the winter. On the low end of the price range, you have this black leather biker jacket. There's gonna be a few differences. Let me pull it up to the higher-end version from H&M's edition collection. You'll see that there's a pocket right here and a few of the details are a little different, but overall, this jacket on the left fits a lot more slim because the leather itself is a bit thinner. This one's a bit more of a rugged look. If you want to wear this jacket for like five years, this will absolutely hold up and wear in really nicely. In the beginning, it's a bit stuffy just because the leather is a lot stronger. Honestly, between these two, you could even argue that you can add both to your wardrobe because I think the way they end up looking on you, it creates for me a different enough aesthetic, but overall you have to make the choice whether you want to go for something that's a little bit cleaner or something that's a little bit more rugged, a little bit more bad boy. But also, of course, at a higher price point. While we're talking about a higher price point, H&M's Edition Collection is amazing. Not only is it well designed, but the quality is fantastic. And this piece is from it as well. It's a suede trucker jacket in this gorgeous brown tone. It's like a cognac brown. If you're looking for a suede trucker jacket, which you very well might be because it's endlessly versatile and really stylish and easy to pull off so like this thing is honestly amazing it comes at a somewhat steep price point but again it is a proper suede jacket that's just what you're paying for the material and I can promise you that this construction holds up as well next up you may have already seen this corduroy trucker jacket if you subscribe to my channel and if you don't I think now is about the time you should hit that subscribe button this medium brown trucker jacket in the corduroy fabric is not only on trend because it's corduroy and that's a big throwback this season but it also is a nice substitute for a denim jacket that you likely have in your closet that you probably wear a lot as a top layer or a mid layer in the fall and winter seasons. And like I said, it's a nice way to switch it up and be a little bit more stylish than the guy that just wears the denim trucker jacket. Next up, we got this bomber jacket with a few emblems like the NASA one right here and the American flag right there. So clearly space military inspired with the olive green. What I love about this is the design, but I wanted it to fit a little bit more snug. This is meant to be worn casually, so in a size medium, for me, it's a little bit too big. The way I want it to fit, it's probably gonna end up being a size small, so I'll have to run to the store and exchange that. Otherwise, I really love this jacket. These patches are a nice way to spice up a classic in your wardrobe that is the bomber jacket. And the bomber jacket itself, obviously, is a really great piece for the fall season. Not too heavy, not too light, and you can wear it not only dressed down, but you can also dress it up and wear like a casual button down underneath and a pair of chinos to bring this look home. 
This may actually be my favorite piece that I picked up in this haul. It's a hoodie and it feels like heaven. It feels like you're putting on a cloud. It's a, it's a little fuzzy and it's definitely casual. Like don't try and dress this up. It's not gonna happen, but it feels amazing. And I feel like oftentimes it's pretty difficult to have fun when it comes to a hoodie because a hoodie is a hoodie, but a bold fabric choice like this one keeps it versatile because it's still a solid color, but it makes it a lot, lot, lot more interesting. So if that's your vibe, I think this is a great pickup. If this is not for you, no worries. I understand not all these pieces are for everybody. I'm trying to show you guys a range of products. Similarly casual, this oatmeal sweater that's also fairly loose. You've got a wider collar, which in theory is not the best choice for the winter because it exposes more of your neck to the cold. But what's nice about it is that you can play with the t-shirt you're wearing underneath or even a turtleneck underneath. Play with the combination of fabrics and or colors. I think this is a really fun piece. Definitely, like I said, very much on the casual side of things. Next two pieces on my hands are these two turtlenecks. Turtlenecks are an essential for me. They are honestly the key to base layering in the fall and winter season. So I wanted to show you the two options that you have at H&M right now. This is the more affordable option and this is the merino wool option from their premium collection. Honestly, yes, this feels a little bit softer and it fits a tiny bit different, but at the end of the day, this is a really solid choice. So if you can swing it, I'd say go for this. If money is a big factor for you, you can go with this and definitely look fly as hell. The gray colorway is super versatile. For me, the navy is just as versatile because I love navy and it's gonna work with a lot of what I've got in my closet. But at H&M, you have, of course, a few color options so you can really choose whatever works best for your wardrobe. Another one of my favorites is the long sleeve polo at H&M. I think this is the third season now that I bought one. This is, once again, the navy color. It does feel a little bit rough against the skin, which is something I'm not crazy in love with, but usually I tend to put up with that that tiny level of itchiness for the style and the fit of this beautiful long sleeve polo. But it's just something I need to call out because if you're sensitive towards that, then this might not be the best choice for you and you wanna opt for a little bit more of a premium wool like the merino wool that I just talked about with the turtleneck. I don't know where it came from, but recently I've been kind of obsessed with a mineral green color. This is a very light version of that in this Oxford shirt. I think it's a beautiful addition to this wardrobe. You guys know me and I usually stick to earth tones, but I try and keep it a little bit interesting and try and have a speck of color here or there. This is a very subtle way to introduce that, like I said, into your wardrobe. Classy, but also casual, really up to your choice of styling. If you haven't seen my How to Style an Oxford shirt yet, check that video out if you need a few ideas of how to style the shirt. This shirt, honestly, is a little bit special for me because I wouldn't usually opt for that. It's a really lightweight flannel, but the colors almost remind me of the Burberry plaid. It's not the Burberry plaid, it's just black and white. There's no red in there or anything, and I'm sure out of copyright reasons it can't be the exact exact Burberry plaid, but it reminds me of it. So it was like borderline whether I should pull the trigger or not on the shirt. I decided yes. And honestly, when you put it on, I think it's amazing. The pattern itself is a little bit bold. So I would probably tone it down and wear a denim jacket up top or something to cover most of it. But I think this is a really fun pickup if you're trying to introduce some pattern into your wardrobe. Now that you've been looking at this yellow sweater the entire video, let me talk about it a little bit more. It's a ripped sweater. I really like it. As you can tell, the fit is really nice. It's a classic choice, but like I just alluded to, I like playing a little bit with color. So while the silhouette is really classic, the color is what makes it a little bit more fun and adds a little bit of a pop, but the mustard yellow is what makes it a little bit more toned down and thus a lot more wearable. On the lower half, starting to talk about bottoms, I'm wearing a pair of raw denim jeans and a skinny fit, they're a size 31 and I love them. For me, raw denim can be really tricky because sometimes the fabric's too shiny, sometimes it's not blue enough, sometimes the tobacco stitching is too dark and there's too much of a contrast. In this case, I'm absolutely in love. The fit is fantastic. And even the length I buy a 31 waist, 30 length, which usually I'd be a 32, but as you guys know, I like my pants cropped, so I tend to opt for the 30 and save myself the trip to the tailor. Sticking with denim, we've got a pair of gray skinny fit jeans. These have two slits across the knees, so very minimal in the ripping, very minimal in the distressed look, but still bold enough because both of your knees will peek out. Now we're heading into the colder months. Is this a practical choice? No, it is not. It's a stylistic choice. Something you need to be aware of. Otherwise, H&M, I believe, has this exact jean also without the rips. So up to you whether you want to play with the distressed look or not. Once again, size 3130 works perfectly for me in the skinny fit, but I do want to call out that not all of the skinny fits fit the same. Depending on the brand within H&M that they're from, you might be a 32, so you might have to size up or you might have to size down. So I encourage you to go into the store and check out which size actually fits you best. Let's stay on denim before we move on to other bottom options that I've got for you today. These light washed, almost acid washed distressed jeans 
are not only really cool in my opinion, they're also on trend. Acid wash is, like many things, a throwback to the 90s which is trending right now, but I think a proper acid wash can be really hard to integrate into your closet. So something like this, where it's a little bit more subtle, you'll still be on trend, but it's a lot more wearable and if it floats your boat, I think it's a great option. Once again, size 31, 30 for me, which means true to size and then I size down in terms of the length to make them a little bit more cropped. Now enough with the denim and let's talk about these cargo joggers. Honestly, I'm just showing them and including them because I've seen them on so many websites, cargo joggers in general, that I just wanted to try out what the ones from H&M looked like and felt like on me. I'm not in love with these. I think the pockets are a little bit too bulky for me, which is something if you guys have watched my videos in detail, you know I like my cargos to fit nice and slim. So they're a little bit too bulky, but primarily what I don't love about them is that in the lower half of the leg, around the calf, they're just too loose. I wanna see a taper that's really nice and creates a slim line. So I wanted to show you guys these if you're into the more relaxed fit. I don't love these personally, but I think overall the design is still pretty dope. That's why I picked them up when I saw them on the website. Three more pieces, we're almost there guys. Let's talk about these Bordeaux chinos in a skinny fit. I absolutely love a Bordeaux color in the winter. Why? Because it very easily works with earth tones. Technically, if you're looking into clay and stuff, it's still an earth tone, but it's a very specific one. I really like these. You may have seen me wear a very similar pair from Dockers a little while back on Instagram. The ones from Dockers were a little bit more shiny and had a little bit more stretch, but they were also double the price of these ones, which I'm not saying either one is better. I think within that budget range, these are a great option, but if you can swing it, the ones from Dockers were also a great, great option when it comes to chinos. These of course come in many different colors, so if Bordeaux is not your thing and it's just a little bit too bold, you can opt for something more classic like a navy or even the classic khaki chino. The last bottom I'd like to talk to you guys about today are these corduroy pants. Corduroy is, like I said before with the corduroy jacket, a big trend. I wanted to pick these up and try them out. I think they fit really well. I think the corduroy itself is pretty bold. So the color is fairly bold. It's a very saturated brown itself. But then the corduroy is fairly high. So you see it's a corduroy, even from the distance. And also it has a little bit of sheen to it. So they're like almost a little bit reflective. Like if I'm speaking in extreme terms. So I'm not sure I'm crazy in love with these, but if you're looking for a pair of corduroys, these are definitely a solid option at a really, really great value. Last but not least, I'm sorry to inform you that bum bags are not going anywhere. And since we're talking about trends and talking about corduroy, this guy, I think, is amazing. I'm excited to add this to my wardrobe. I know I'll be wearing it throughout the fall. And technically, they're not even bum bags anymore. They're like lower backpacks because you wear them down here and not actually on your bum anymore. I always like the crossbody strap. I just think it adds a little bit of dynamic to your upper body with something as simple as this. It easily ties in, it breaks it up, and adds a little interest when you look at the overall outfit. And then, of course, the functionality of just having a bag, quick access, where you can put a lot of things in, like a small camera even. I think it's just nice to not get your pockets, which are possibly skinny jeans, too full. Because I personally don't like seeing that phone outline right here or that you know wallet outline in the back. So I like using these for functionality, but also for style. Now before we wrap this video up, I wanna say that I know this was a lot of pieces and you see me buying some of the pieces that I had. Fuck, there was a sound. Now before we wrap this video up, I know this was a lot of pieces and I know that I actually doubled up on some things that I bought again that I had bought last season. I need you guys to know that all the clothes that I use and don't need anymore, I donate and try and make the most use of them. And I buy all of this so I can show you guys. I'm not encouraging you to buy every single piece in here. I'm just trying to point out what I think are some of the best pieces in here so you have a better time shopping and can quickly find what works for you. Just as a quick note on I guess sustainability overall. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. Let me know what you thought of today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and leave a comment down below. Let's start a conversation. As you know, I now respond to comments via video. So leave a comment down below that makes me wanna to respond to it when I do comment responses. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you soon with the next video. Until then, as always, stay dapper. Bye guys.